Hello, how are you? I actually tried making a video before, but this freaking dog distracted the tits out of me and decided to play with her freaking ball. You really, you really want to make out right now? I am mad at you. I'm upset with you. I want to punch you in the jawline. Just kidding. I would never do that to you. I would never do that to you. I'm a vegan. I would never hurt you. No, I won't. No, I won't. Okay. Anyways, hi. How's it going? Here's a shoe. Don't chew my shoe. You think everything I hold is something you can chew on. That's not true. Get your butt out of the camera. No one wants to see your buttocks. You look so big because of the fisheye lens. You look like a ginormous horsey. You look like a horsey, you know? Here you are, distracting me again. But this time, you have the butt in the camera. <laughs> you have your butt. You look so long right now. Okay, sit. Oh my god, why? Oh, okay, so I did my meetup this weekend, and it was so freaking fun. I had so many people come, and so many really, really nice, supportive people come. Um, I, I always get nervous before meetups because I think that people are gonna like think I'm disgusting in person and not want to watch my videos anymore. I know it's weird for me to think that. I don't know because I edit the tits out of my Instagrams and my pictures and um, my videos and everything um, to make me look better because I'm, I'm very insecure about my skin. Which you probably already know if you watched any of my like personal videos. Um, I've always been very insecure about my skin. I have really bad acne. You probably can't, oh, you can kind of tell now. Yeah, see, I have really, 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 really bad acne. It sucks, and I've been through a lot with it. I've been on different treatments. I've seen different dermatologists. I've been, it's been like an ongoing struggle with me, and I've never been comfortable in my own skin or liked who I see in the mirror. So going to these meetups and with hundreds of people's attention on me is very scary, and making videos in general is very scary, which is why I haven't really done it on my main channel in a long time. But it's always a great feeling after these meetups when people like tweet me and post my Facebook like, Oh my god, it was so great meeting you. I, I, you're so nice. And they don't ever mention anything about my skin whatsoever. And it makes me realize that people don't really notice the things that you're insecure about. I mean, I'm sure people all probably notice it, but they don't actually care as much as you think they do. Your personality really shines through. It's not all looks that people focus on, even though it seems like it is in this world. It really isn't. And if you go out and be yourself, People will know you for yourself and they love you for who you are and not your your flaws. So when I go to these meetups, it's it's like the only time that I feel like really happy and like I belong. Like I shouldn't be in the corner staring at my phone. I actually feel like there's people that like me. And that's a really strange feeling to have people like me and care about what I say. I don't get that often at all. And for once when I do these meetups, I do get that. And I, I feel important. I feel loved and I feel cared about and I feel like I have friends. And that sounds really depressing. So I decided I want to do more of what makes me happy. I want to do more meetups. I want to meet people and make people be able to know actually who I am, get to know me, see who I am, and not just like edited me. And really, are you serious right now? Her goal is to just ruin my life. That's all you want to do. Here, get the ball. So I am going to go on my friend's tour. My friend Brian Stars, he does tours. This is like his second one. And he was like, yo. You should go on a few of my dates. Actually, no. Originally, he was like, seriously? Originally, he wanted me to do the whole tour. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. But last minute, I panicked about it. Because I panic about a lot of things, and I talk myself out of things. I don't know. Do you ever, like, overthink situations, and eventually you just convince yourself not to do it? Um, that's, that's the anxiety kicking it. Last minute, he was like, yo, do you want to just hop on for a few dates, get the gist of it, and see what it's like? And I was like, you know what? My heart's telling me yes, but my mind's telling me no. So I'm going to go, 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 go with my heart. And I'm doing it. I'm going to go on a few of the dates. I'm going to go on from Boise, Idaho until New Orleans. So the dates should be right here. I'll be in Dyke, Texas. I'll be in California. I'll be in freaking Oregon. I'll be in Washington. I'll be... The tickets are $12 at the venue. You can buy them online or at the door. I would just love to meet you all. And there would be cool music playing. And it would be a freaking grand old time. I'm going to do like a Q&A on stage, which is freaking freaky for me to go on stage. I actually got out of my speech class because I couldn't go in front of people. It's really scary. But I think I can do it, and I feel like this is my year to push myself out of my comfort zones and face my fears. And eventually, they won't be fears. There will be something I'm comfortable with and enjoy doing. Oh my god, this dog. I'm taking control of my issues, and they're not going to be issues anymore. They're going to be freaking past me, and I'm going to live my life for once instead of hiding in my room. Because hiding in my room doesn't do tits. And I'm not going to progress in life if I'm just hiding from the world, you know what I mean? I'm just going to keep aging and hate my life and look back on it and be like, I haven't done anything with my life. And I don't want that to be the case. I want to be like, yo, I did this, I did this, I did this, and it was a freaking good time, and I loved every second of it. So that's how I'm going to live my life for now on, and I hope to see you guys. I'm going to have a little bit of merch for so, I don't know, maybe. I think so, I'm not sure. I love you all. Peace, peace. Thank you for everything you do, and thank you for supporting me and sticking with me, even though I haven't always been here for you because I let my issues hold me back but i'm gonna try to do my best and be here for you guys 
And um, I love you. Bye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Ooh. All right. Bye.